So my name is Dara. I'm Jenny. Uh, Jenny is my friend because if you're watching this video, it probably means you know that I've been diagnosed with breast cancer at this point. Um, and I've been getting lots and lots of questions from many people who love me and who I love. And, and you know, it's kind of a pain in the neck sometimes to keep saying the same things over and over again. So I figured that I would make a little video with my good friend Jenny here and we'd answer some of the questions that I keep getting and I could talk a little bit more about my perspective on this. So maybe first we could start out by just maybe telling people how you found out or when you found out. Good question, good question. So I found out, I went to uh, a gynecologist visit um, a few weeks ago and they found a lump in my breast. They sent me over to the mammogram people. They said they found something that looked suspicious, got a biopsy, took the biopsy and I got the information back um, that it, I was positive or I don't know what you call it, but I had the breast cancer. You had the breast cancer. I had the breast cancer. And you seem really um, upbeat about the whole thing. It doesn't seem to be um, bringing you down. So I wonder if there are some positive aspects to this that you could maybe talk about. Yeah, so, you know, I actually have a really, feel really okay about this. In fact, I, I feel good about what's going on. Um, I just feel like this is a different perspective on the world. I feel like I've done a lot of great things already in the world. I, you know, I. I I quit my job to go do this global initiative that was doing really well. I, I sold all my stuff and I, I, I moved into my car and I went cross country. I've been staying with my family and friends. I've written a musical, I've done, written a book. You know, I've kind of done all this stuff and it's been amazing and super fun. Um, I just felt like, I don't know, to some extent, maybe my soul was getting a little uh, stagnant. You know, I, I wanted to learn more. And so now I'm going to be going through this process. And I'm gonna learn a lot, you know? I think I'm already learning a lot. And um, I see it as, I, I know it's a little early in the process and I know it's gonna suck um, for a lot of it, but I really see it as a gift, as an opportunity to see how my perspective on the world changes, to see, um, to see what kinds of things already are, are shifting in my world and all the people who love me are coming out of the woodwork. I mean, it's, it's actually a beautiful thing in a lot of ways. And I think that there are a lot of um, there, there are a lot of good things I'm already seeing. That's really amazing. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything else you would want to say to everybody? Um, so I'm sure a lot of your friends are going to be, um, you know, understandably fearful and sad. And so I wonder what you would say to that sadness or to that fear. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I, you know, for me, I feel like I've already gotten to a really good space and I really, really, really want you to get to a good space with it. Um, so I don't know, just let yourself like feel the fear, the sadness, whatever you gotta do. But then I hope you get to the space where you can have fun with me and you can enjoy the, the, the fun elements of this. You know, one of the perks I've been talking about, because I do think there's perks here. Like for instance, one of the perks is that um, I've been saying year after year, one of my New Year's resolutions was I wanted to watch more TV. But every year I don't watch enough TV and I just, I'm always doing stuff. I'm always, you know, doing crazy stuff. And so uh, now I'm going to get a chance to watch TV and I've had friends give me like lists and lists and lists of things to watch on TV and I'm kind of really excited about it. So if you feel like doing something, tell me what TV shows to watch. Send me some books, come and hang out, send me some Facebook messages, send me some texts. Um, I might not be able to respond right away because I'm you know, either not feeling up to it or because B, I'm actually really crap at calling people back and you all know that. So one of the perks is now like I have a free, you know, excuse out of it. But in general, like honestly, I'd love to hear from you and just like move through what you got to move through and um, yeah, and I hope you can like hang out with me a little bit in a good space and if you take a little while to get there, that's okay too. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You the best. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, wait, last and final. You have to see this crazy contraption that Jenny created in order <laughs> to be able to do this on the street in Las Vegas. She created an apple on my tripod and a napkin. The brilliant artist. Look at that. Look at that. Brilliant. God, I love my friends.